Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is the new upcoming Dragon Ball game that is going to be released by Bandai. And ever since its release date, fans have been dying, praying, and hoping for some type of teaser or trailer to pop up. As of now, the teaser for Budokai Tenkaichi 4 was about 8 months ago, and we still have nothing new regarding the game. However, we have some possible news regarding the upcoming Budokai Tenkaichi 4 game and what we can expect. Now, this video won't be too long, but if you guys are hyped for Budokai Tenkaichi 4, make sure you guys do leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and let's get straight into the video okay everyone welcome to today's video first things first before i say anything shout out to president rose i'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below i got the news and this video idea from him i'm not going to show his video here or anything like that but if you guys want that exclusive content make sure you click on the first link in the description below but he gave some crazy things that we should know about budokai tenkaichi 4 that is from i think his name is andrew miller or something like that andrew my hopefully i'm saying that name right i'm sorry if i'm not <laughs> i think my last budokai take at 4 episode actually did revolve around him but i don't know he came with some new stuff today so let's see what we have here so it's actually a list that i have here i'm going to read it out to you guys please take this with a grain of salt nothing is confirmed i'm not sure how reliable andrew miller is as a leaker in the dragon ball community i'm not sure where he got this information from i just know that president rose personally believes him and if this is true this is something that is important for you guys to know i'm not here confirming anything i'm just here to update you guys so the first thing is, is that if you pre-order, this is what has been said, that if you pre-order Budokai Tenkaichi 4, that you will be able to get Beast Gohan as an, an exclusive character to Budokai Tenkaichi 4, just like in Xenoverse, for example. When Xenoverse dropped for the first time, it was said that we can get Goku Black when Super was airing during that time. I believe it was around 2016. When you pre-ordered Xenoverse 2 during that time, you were going to get Goku Black as an exclusive character towards the game, which in during that time was very exclusive to the character set now this is pretty interesting considering that they're doing that because superhero is the most recent dragon ball content that has been released for dragon ball and to know the fact that they would go as far as to include that in a pre-order release bonus that is kind of strange because knowing how bandai's worked and how dragon ball games have progressed throughout the years they would more likely include that as a dlc character as or, or a dlc set to really make their money's worth throughout the series of the game especially for something like budokai tenkaichi 4 it is a a very very popular game <laughs> i'm not sure you guys can take that with a grain of salt it is pretty interesting i'm not saying it's impossible i'm not saying it's very unlikely it is a little bit strange and it doesn't keep record with what bandai has normally done they have done something like that with xenoverse 2 before but i'm pretty sure when that happened with xenoverse 2 we weren't at a point with the goku black arc where we can be too hyped about it so them releasing goku black during that time obviously they they knew goku black was going to get some type of new form so i'm pretty sure they thought in their head that they were going to get more money based off of releasing releasing Rose Goku Black as a DLC compared to just releasing base Goku Black in that DLC or with the pre-order release. So I'm not sure, dude. It's a little bit strange to hear. I hope it happens. Don't get me wrong. I really hope it happens that if you pre-order Budokai Tenkaichi 4, you will get Beast Gohan because I think that's a pretty cool way to get Beast Gohan. But if they do do something like that, I'm pretty sure that the reason why they're just going to do something like that is just so they can get more people to pre-order the game. Not just that, but we are also going to be getting three different editions of the game, which was said in the video, meaning that we will be getting the standard edition the collector's edition and the deluxe edition now they've obviously done this a lot with dragon ball games especially with dragon ball games like dragon ball z kakarot so i'm not surprised that they are doing something like this pretty sure they're going to include some type of exclusive content when releasing each of these different games they've done this for a majority of anime games that have released even with the new naruto uh ultimate ninja storm connections game coming out so yeah no big surprise there that is something also to be very hyped about that's if it's true of course but there is one more thing that was said and that is the budokai tenkaichi 4 team or update why is that taking so long right it's been eight months we have not been updated with budokai tenkaichi 4 for the longest time people are losing hope that it's going to release in like 2020 freaking five or something like that like people have been dying for the budokai tenkaichi 4 teaser and we haven't been getting anything related to that recently at all according to this video the reason why it's taking so long is because they're trying to make sure that they are able to get the game under both editions or under both gens of consoles meaning they're trying to get it for playstation 4 playstation 5 and then xbox one and then xbox series x now 
personally, I understand why they're doing that. It's expected that they're going to be doing that. They're going to try to release the game to as many people as possible. And not everybody has the new gen console. Not everybody can afford the new gen console. I'm not too sure if the game will have cross play. Hopefully it does because combining Xbox and PlayStation players along with PC players will also boost how much people buy the game as well. I cannot bring you any type of confirmation on whether or not it will or will not have any type of cross platform gameplay. But what I can say based off of this video is that they're saying that they're going the reason it's taking so long is because they're trying to add it for both gen consoles and that makes sense especially considering the fact that they're adding now xenoverse 2 to ps5 and xbox series x they're updating the game to be to be updated to ps5 and xbox series x so that also makes sense as to why they're doing they're going to basically try to do that for budokai tenkaichi 4 eventually it's going to get to a point where people are going to stop updating budokai tenkaichi 4 for playstation and xbox series x because this game is probably going to be even more popular than games like Kakarot, Fighters, and Xenoverse 2. When can we expect anything for a upcoming teaser or maybe a possible release date for Budokai Tenkaichi 4? I would say the battle hour. That's just my opinion. I think the battle hour, which is coming at the end of January in 2024, we will be getting anything. We will be getting huge updates Dragon Ball related with Dragon Ball Daima, the upcoming Dragon Ball card game app that's going to be on the phone, the Budokai Tenkaichi 4 series, the Kakarot uh, DLC pack. I think it's five or six. So make sure you guys stay tuned for battle hour. Battle hour is just about two months away. I will be streaming live on the channel when we do have to react live to the battle hour in case anything big pops up yeah let me know what you guys think about all this stuff down in the comment section below let me know what your guys's prediction for the upcoming budokai tenkaichi 4 game let me know what you guys think it's going to contain very very soon i can assure you that we will be getting an update for budokai tenkaichi 4 which will hopefully be within the next year so stay tuned i'll keep you guys updated with anything that happens on the channel subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you guys in the next video peace out hey it's me goku if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit a like and subscribe button so you can be updated for all the new content pbl gaming makes see ya